Hi there. Okay. Um, next day of space camp. So today what we were doing was um, we started off by going and making a lunar base. Um, we made a really cool like research station that had like these four different bays and we taped it all together and made some solar panels out of straws and stuff and it was just really really neat and we made a little commercial for it and basically just did the same structure that students would do if they were going to go about doing the activity. Um, after that we went to a lecture given by this one guy who was incredible. He um, he used to be the P one of the PR people for NASA whenever they had the um, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo missions and stuff. So he was like one of the main people who was talking to the press about Apollo 13 and that, uh, which was pretty amazing. He also um, was telling stories about the astronauts and things. And it wasn't like these, like, oh, they were such wonderful people, sort of hero worship things. Um, just, like, some really down-to-earth stories about what they were like as people, and it was really nice. Um, he gave each one of us a book, and he's in the process of signing them. Uh, so I'll get that back tomorrow. And I uh, stayed after for a little bit, listened to him talk talked to him a little, got my picture taken with him, so some really cool stuff there. Then um, we had lunch, and we were going to go do the rocket launch um, of our model rockets, but unfortunately it started raining, so we couldn't go and do that. So instead what we ended up doing was the eggs prize, and it was basically like an egg drop. Um, which, I mean, is really fun and cool to do with students. And um, so my group of three, we made ours, and we took cardboard and put it into a sphere, and we got a water bottle, and we put a whole bunch of pieces of cardboard in it. And what this guy did was um, kind of like what I used to do with the Big Bad Wolf thing um, that I kind of stole from Rachel, but anyway... Um, where I would charge students for their different materials. And the, the challenges here, what they do is they gave extra points for how much under budget you come in. So, um, we uh, got two pieces of cardboard for free and two one-foot pieces of duct tape for free. And so we, okay, we took a water bottle, cut the top off of it so that we just had the centerpiece and looked at how well it rolled. Then we took cardboard and put it into little pieces so that whenever, so it was more like um, filling. And we put that into the bottle and then put the egg into the bottle. And so the rover portion of it, because um, could roll really easily. Then we took that rover portion, we took a piece of cardboard and put it around in a circle, blew up a balloon in the bottom of it, blew up a balloon in the top of it, and locked the egg in there at a diagonal so that the balloons would act as shock absorption. We weighted the bottom so it would fall so that the bottom was at the bottom. And uh, Deborah had a good idea to put like stri um, strip cardboard strips along the bottom so that it offered a more rigid um, deformity first and then the then the shock absorption and um, so we dropped it off the second story it hit egg stayed fine so we got to take out our rover and then we put it on a ramp and what he did was he looked at how far our rover went added that to how many inches off we were from our drop zone, added that to how much under budget we came in, and we ended up with 500 some points and actually got a round of applause from the other people in the room, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, that's it, it's always fun to do engineering challenges, and I need to do more of those in the classroom, and that's 
you know, this, this whole thing definitely fits my style of teaching more. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's been really entertaining today. Uh, we went to the gift shop and I got a whole bunch of patches and stuff because I'm really kind of getting into this whole mission patch thing. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more researching on that just because it's, it's really cool. Like, I didn't know that the astronauts designed their own patches and stuff and, um, each thing on the patch represents something. So, like, um, I really liked the Apollo 8 patch and I'm kind of a big fan of Jen Lovell now. But um, looking at how it went out and around the moon and stuff, then I also got a Challenger one. Um, so Krista McAuliffe, since she was going to be the first teacher in space, there's a little apple down here, which is kind of cool. Um, I also got this one. That is Barbara Morgan. She was the first teacher in space, and that's what this symbolizes right here is its little flame. Um, this little star with a halo that's, um, that represents astronauts and stuff, and you can see the shuttle. Then this one I also got, I also got the last Columbia one, uh, just because what I was doing was, I was teaching whenever this happened, I was teaching about space even at science station, so, um, this one means a lot to me too. So, I got some patches and I can add those apparently to... Um, my flight suit so whenever I get home and have more patches on it and be able to talk about those missions a bit more. Um, what else do we do? We went to Space Junk at the IMAX and then our um, instructor Shayna she gave us an awesome tour of the rocket park and um, she gave us all the background information on the different types of rockets and stuff and um, I video recorded it so that, you know, we I can play it for students and we can see how these different rockets came along um, and uh, what they look like, how large they are and stuff. We got to see the actual, like, Apollo, what was it, Apollo 17 capsule and that was just really cool. Um, got to see all the different astronaut stuff that went along with it. Uh, we got out two flight suits, um, well, not necessarily flight suits, space suits, and got to actually feel them and interact with them and see how heavy they were and stuff. And tomorrow, supposedly, we're going to get out some astronaut gloves, which are pretty cool. Um, got to walk across, like, one of those actual um, launch towers. Like, um, I guess Alan Shepard said it was the longest, loneliest walk he ever took. And, I mean, if you think about it in context of being, like, the first guy to go up, yeah, that would be a long, lonely walk. Um, but he walked across that, and the towers were actually, uh, one of the real towers was actually there. Um, what else did we do today? We did a lot of stuff today, even though there was kind of, like, this rain thing going on, but, um... We still got a lot in. Oh, I also got to go on the Mastiff, the multi axle trainer, and it was really fun. Like, the video of me is just me laughing the entire time because I was having so much fun on it. So, um, got a couple of really, really intense spins in at the end. So, you can just see it just whipping me around. Um, and uh, tomorrow we're going to go back to that and I'll get a chance to go on the moon lander thing. So, so um, I'll end this again with thank you so much for Paul Collins. I'm having a blast. I'm learning a lot. Um, so yeah, see you tomorrow.